Turning our attention now to the ASX, here's Matt Burney and Bulls and Bears with the latest public company views and interviews. Welcome to Bulls and Bears, where we break down the latest ASX announcements from public companies that are doing interesting things. Today's Bulls and Bears report is brought to you by Latin Resources, ASX code LRS. I'm Matt Burney and I'm joined now on 6PR by the Executive Director of Latin Resources, Chris Gale. Hi, Chris. Hi, Matt. Latin Resources has its roots in South America, where it has an impressive suite of lithium and specialty metals projects and tier one partnerships. It's been the company's massive halicite and kaolonite discovery in WA, however, that lit a fire under its share price recently. Latin's Noombenberry project near Meriden has been throwing up some exciting ultra bright kaolin and high grade halicite sample results across many kilometres of strike. And you just might be surprised at the everyday uses of both minerals. Firstly, Chris, what is halicite and kaolonite and what are they used for? Kaolin is used in everyday products, as you mentioned, Matt, such as ceramics, paper, paints. Halicite, though, is a more specialised mineral, which is used more along the lines of hydrogen storage and transport, carbon dioxide capture, which we're very, very keen on getting into, batteries and supercapacitors. How big is the market for halicite and kaolinite? Who buys it, most importantly, and how is it priced? Well, kaolin is around 29 million tonnes per annum of, of the use of kaolin. China, Japan, with fine, fine bone China, would buy kaolin, paper, that type of thing. The halicite is a, a growing a market, and that's used more, as I said earlier, in, in specialised minerals, and we're seeing that market really open up. And at three to $5,000 a tonne for halicite, that's the market that we're very focused on. What do you get a tonne for kaolinite? Do you have any idea? Three to four hundred dollars a ton. Okay, so just how big is your Noombenberry discovery near Meriden? Matt, we just finished our first drilling program out there. We drilled 18 square kilometres, uh, 200 holes, 5,000 metres. So that was probably the largest program carried out in a kaolin helicite project in the country. We've, we've actually just finished sampling 7 to 15 kilometres away and we've picked up some more helicite in, in some surface samples out there. So this could be a very, very large project, you know, with another 15 kilometres of strike in the northeast. Who are the big players in the Halicite and Kaolin markets, listed players? Uh, well, you've got WA Kaolin uh, here in Western Australia. You've got Suva. But the biggest at the moment is Andromeda. They've done a fantastic job in South Australia. They've built up a very big resource of around 35 million tonnes of Kaolin, 9 million tonnes of Halicite. And look, they've moved through pre-feasibility. They have offtakes. But, you know, their market cap's around $600 million at the moment. Chris Gale from Latin Resources. Thanks for joining me on 6PR today. And remember... Bulls and Bears is only here to give you information, not advice, which you should, of course, seek independently. I'm Matt Burney. Thanks for listening to Bulls and Bears. For more public company CEO interviews, go to the money page at 6pr.com.au and click the Public Companies tab.